Hi, hello everyone. It's me, Young Leo Akio here. Hello, all my YouTube, Google Plus, and Facebook fan. Um, I'm Young Leo Akio. Welcome to my channel, Auto Modified Sport Channel. And uh, today is September uh, September the 11th, 2016. Um, I wanted to make a short video here, uh, showing you guys how to uh, actually uh, uh, install the uh, front uh, bumper kit on my 98 Eclipse here. Um, so, something you might want to know is uh, my I, I just finished reviewing my 98 Eclipse here and I'm working on the body on the outside and uh, every, everywhere else seems to be all right. It's just my front bumper kit. Like every other car, everyone else has the same kind of problem with their, uh, if it's old front bumper kit or something, then they all have a problem. Like it's either saggy or bend or whatever. You know, the front bumper kit's always a problem for a lot of people. Like, because the front bumper kit, uh, when people drive, they hit it on the side way and all that. They hit a lot on the front bumper kit. Then the side kits or the back bumper, okay? Well, back bumper too. Sometimes a lot of people done damage on it too. But especially the front one, you know, a lot of, uh, variety of people have, uh, you know, doing something wrong with the front bumper, like hitting someone or hitting... A, a mailbox or whatever um, anyway um, my 98 clips here on the body kit has a little a uh, little problem you know just a saggy problem uh, but uh, today I am uh, actually almost completely uh, uh, tighten it down and bolt my front bumper kits on and uh, I figure I want to make a video while I'm almost done and kind of show you guys through because uh, you notice my other video, it was saggy, right? Like it was off and uh, it looks saggy when I'm trying to put it on because uh, there's some bar problem when they welded the bar uh, for the body kits. Uh, the bar on this side is, is low, too low, and the bar on this side is, is too high. High to the point that uh, uh, my kits is on, like, you know, it's kind of it's kind of cover my headlights up there. So I don't know if I can pass inspection, but... Uh, uh, I guess I could if I tie it right, you know, if it's not losing or saggy, uh, as long as it's tight down, then it's good. But, uh, yeah, guys, I have new grills. Uh, I just finished our new grill, front grills, uh, side grills on my front body kits here. Um, shining out my headlights already. I'm going to have to shine it again uh, before I take it to the inspection place. And, uh, all right, guys, let's get straight to what I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing here. Um, another thing is, I just I just remember I got to install this uh, mud shoe <laughs> on the front, both fronts, and one one on the back is kind of cracked. So I, uh, I I got it from the junkyard. I got these pieces from the junkyard like years ago, right before when I just got this car. Right when I just got this car, uh, I figured it's missing, so I went to the junkyard and got all this piece. And that's the driver side, and this is the left, the passenger side. Um, I just uh, got it back from the front, uh, back of my house and clean it, uh, and it, you know, wipe it down. Uh, it was all dirty. Now it's a little bit cleaner. It, it don't necessarily need to be so clean because it's a mud gar cover, all right. So just clean, you know, as best as you can. And uh, I'm gonna install this. Uh, right after the front kit um, as you can see I need some screw for these uh, see these kind of screw yeah I need all those around and uh, basically it's just gonna be uh, installed it right here around inside of this uh, wheel here to cover it up and my back um, I have the old one here is cracking see it's breaking so that's why I got a new one a new one see nothing break nothing crack just a little dirty it's like every other mud car they're all dirty you know unless you're trying to repaint it see mine is cracking see that yeah you need to I need to change to that 
new one. <laughs> and, and of course, I need to clean. Um, I just kind of wash my car. I need to wash and clean my wheels too. That's the last thing I ever have to do. And uh, putting some wheel wax on. Um, yeah. So let's get to the body kit part. Uh, my other backside is fine. Nothing cracking. Like the cover. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's still there. So, uh, on this side, I just need to install the mud guard back on. Also, this is important right here. You need to have all these little clips for the screw to screw in. Right there. Before you screw in, you need those clips right there. That's it about the mud guard. So, let's get back to the front body kit here. I'm trying to uh, bolt it. Uh, the driver's side thing seemed fine when I installed in the bolt. There's two bolts on this side. Well, you can see it. But it's the M8 bolt. There's two of it. This driver's side seems like it's installed right on. Uh, but like over here, it's kind of saggy. Because... It can't weld it right with the with the metal bar right there, so I have to use some zip tire, zip tire one right there. Looks like that's the only holder they ever made for the zip tire. But this front, see what the tape side you can see. This front top right here. Uh, there's actually five M6 bolts. Oh, for some reason my camera is so dark, but I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, there's five M6 bolts on the front grill here. I mean the front kit with the metal, with the thin metal uh, where it holds on the front there. And this passenger side right here, see the metal bar. They wet it too high, and now it's blocking my headlights. And I can see they're putting some holes for the zip tie on before. But see, I was trying to uh, install these two bolts right here. It has the two M6 bolt right here with the washer. But before I took, when I took it out, it was it, it was on. But after I take it out and install it back on, it won't install it back on. So right now, you know, I have to use zip tire. So uh, I zip tie two already on this side. I need to zip tie two more, which is right here and right here. Just use like an eight inch zip tire right there. And uh, do the best uh, I can here. Uh, zip tie through these holes, the, the bolt holes. Right there. There's the bolt holes right there, one right there and another one right there. Use the zip tie to go through those holes and through the body kit holes too. Uh, I zip tie these two and to this uh, metal bar here for the body kits and it stay on well. It's just that I would need to cut and weld it again after inspection. If they pass it, I'm going to go home and uh, we cut it and weld it again uh, on this side right here. It needs to be a little bit lower can't be so high it's blocking my headlights and the other side is too low I gotta cut a longer bar too uh, but yeah I just uh, put some zip tie on these two I'm about to put some zip tie two more on on at the end right here on the passenger side and if it stay on then I'm done I'm just gonna take it like this drive it like this to the inspection uh, and have them inspect um, and uh, yeah, so it should be fine, I guess. See, after I put the zip tie on this two hole, it'll be like that. I mean, it's, it's not so pretty. It's gonna be kind of ugly, like, you know, balled up or whatever. Uh, and then my hood, it's, it's fixed, okay? Don't worry, my hood is shut, okay? I just leave it on so it's easy for me to take, uh, uh, take, it, take it up, uh, back and down easily. That's all, but, uh, but the kit's not so low though, you see? 
yeah uh, once I got it on the kit's not gonna be so low I guess I can still uh, pass through the driveway you know running back and forth but I'll show you about the uh, bolting tighten the bolts use a uh, 10 millimeter uh, socket and just tighten those bolt uh, these two bolt right here uh, whatever whatever you can use to uh, to tighten the bolt uh, on the body kits if you can if you can use uh, six millimeter bolts to tighten uh, your body kit that'll be great you know you don't have to use zip tie like some spot on my uh, body kits here I have to use like completely on this side I have to use zip tie um, another thing I want to mention I'm gonna I'm order online uh, uh, it's called um, it's called uh, quick release I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it uh, the quick release is basically like this that's a I told you about that earlier it's like a, a big boat right here with a thick rubber band going down right here and another thick bolt right here which is, what it is is it'll hold the front bumper to my fender so it won't be saggy you see it'll be lift up right it won't be saggy like you know it'll attach each other and it's gonna lock each other because you know both sides the the front kit and the fender size over there they're always saggy just like over here and boats you know it's always gonna be breaking so they that's why they sell those things called quick release so I'm gonna get a set of that uh, I guess by next week or so after I get it inspected uh, I'm gonna have to install that anyway, regardless, uh, because you know I know if I use zip tie later on it'll break out or whatever, you know, no matter, cause zip tie is still uh, it's still not. I mean, one zip tire will hold about 60 pounds. I have I have three on this four on this size, and you know I don't think you know it weigh that much, you know, so I'm good with zip tie here for now. Uh, but definitely gonna go with quick release uh, after this. It's gonna make your car look nice too. It makes my front gonna look nice with the quick release. Um, just like some of the tuner car out there you see, they put that uh, quick release uh, locks to hold the front bumper uh, to the fender. And it's just holding it real tight and the looks gonna look nice too. Um, pretty cool, you know? Then after that, of course, I'm gonna get me uh, the hood latch lock right here. Install both sides. The hood lock. It's gonna look nice. I'm gonna show you guys when I get to that part. Making a video while I install that too. Um, it has like three kinds of locks, so it depends on some locks might be easy to install and some other might be harder to install. But uh, I'm gonna get me like a, a decent one. So I don't know yet what I'm gonna get, but I will get me a set of uh, hood locks. Uh, after this so uh, yeah I need to make I need to make a grill to put it right there too by the fender hole uh, that's my next step I guess and also if I'm if I do that I'm gonna have to go over here and cut the same hole like over there and put the grill on too and uh, okay about the body um, once I put in like my mud guard and everything on right you know boat right you see my side kits because I've been taking it in and out before to fix my door like especially on the driver's side this side here the side kits you know uh, it's kind of come off I need to bolt it in first and then I need, I need to uh, put some bondo okay uh, just put clean it first clean it you know with sandpaper or whatever clean it nicely so it won't get rough then put some bondo around it so it will seal up okay um so just like over here some paint i need to take a sandpaper uh like a hundred grit sandpaper here just kind of sand sand whatever spot need to sand because i'm gonna take my car to uh to the paint shop and uh, paint my car to a silver within the next month or two anyway so i need to completely sand all the rough spots all the rough edge first before I take them to paint it because they won't do all that sanding for you you know all they do is just uh, paint on like two coats of that paints and that's it and if you don't want to pay them like clear coat 
they won't put clear coat either. Clear coat is like another 200 or so. Um, <laughs> so I mean, you really need to sand up this car because this car uh, is just the perfect time to uh, for a paint job, you know. It's all the paint is peeling and, you know, it's just, it's just ready for a complete paint job. You know, even the blacks looks gone too. No more shiny looks anyway. Um, and you know, some other paints coming in too, uh, fading. And see this spot right here? Sand it up with sandpaper. You know, sand it good. With all these rough edges. You know, before you, before I take it to uh, the body shop. Yeah, this spot right here. So this spot will have some uh, tapes before when I tape it. I need to sand this out good, smoothly, you know, uh, take out those tapes, uh, residue, same like over here, uh, not over here, um, I would need to just use some uh, uh, razor, because it's peeling, cut it out, I know I should have bought two from the junk gear, uh, the other sides look new and this side looks old, but you know, if you don't want to change it, just take a razor and cut it, cut as much as you can so you can peel all this out and then just go over with sandpaper you know so it'll smooth down and then or you can paint it to black before you take it to uh, the paint shop if you want to you know depend on you how you want to do it when you want to tell them to paint that part or you want to do it by yourself just tell them okay well just like over here my side kits you know I need to body in I need to glue it I used to use some tape glue or whatever inside but I will use some bondo I think they use Bondo too on the outside, but uh, I had to take it out to uh, to, uh, to 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 work on my car earlier before, so I had to take this out, you know. So now it needs to Bondo Bondo back again. I need to get like a a 12 ounce Bondo from AutoZone or so to Bondo. Uh, see this spot right here? It needs to re-Bondo. Yeah, just kind of clean it up, to, you know, pick it out, clean it up as much as you can, uh, sand it with sand, sandpaper uh, before you put Bondo on, you know, see the crack right there, you need Bondos. Uh, so that's how, that's how I'm going to do it uh, before I uh, take it to uh, the paint shop and uh, I'll take it to the inspection uh, before that though. Uh, and then I got my back uh, I got the back of the car nice and clean everything looks you know this is a coupe you know this is a coupe 98 Eclipse so the back look you know it has that coupe right there uh, the cover everything hooked up right you know that's how it's supposed to look not flat down but it has to be an angle up like that that's pretty cool right that's, that's how cool it's gonna look so uh, yeah uh, just got some of the stuff back here, like my tool, uh, things that I need uh, when the car break down, uh, spare tires under there, you know, and I have some plastic covered up so water and rain won't come in if I, if I don't have a water strip to seal it uh, from now. But later, I'll, I'll need, I'll need uh, to have some weather strip, you know, going around the front of my uh, hood. There's a lot of, a lot of place, a lot of spot that I need to put some... Uh, um, weather strip you know just like right here I'll show you guys about this it's a good spot for example to put the uh, weather strip it's right here uh, under the tail lights uh, water will comes in if you don't put a uh, uh, water strip you know wet weather strip <laughs> um, so my door is done we just I guess kind of need some weather strip too uh, but I still need to have a, uh, I still need to wash my car again this uh, my first time was yesterday and it still look awful I need to do, I need to wash it like at least two more times uh, with good soap so I'm gonna get some soap today at Walmart run out of uh, car washing soap as my soap is all gone you know yeah I got spun but all my soaps are gone so I need to get another uh, bottle of soap from Walmart and um, you know just Get some more little things at Walmart, uh, whatever I need. But um, yeah, back here it's been clean. I just need to shine up my tail lights, you know. 
so I'll probably make another video right after I'm done with the cleaning and stuff. The tail lights. Uh, my reverse lights are good. Just need to clean some more back here too. Still look dirty and dirt. Oh yeah, about uh, about my uh, uh, back of my windshield here. Still have some more tints. I need to uh, take a raise and take out all the tints, all the tints as, as much as I can. You know, it still has some tints left. Uh, it, it was peeling uh, before. Now it's like halfway peeling, so I need to peel all the way. Uh, it looks all right now. Before it was all slappy, you know, when you drive the air, blowing all the all the uh, all the tints out. And now, you know, just have some spot here and there. Just gotta take some tints out, you know. Yeah, with the razor. So that'll be my next thing too. Uh, next thing to do too so uh, yeah just install some of the stuff like that and then I get straight into my interior and install some of the stuff that I need to install in uh, for my interior and I'll be done uh, within a, a couple of days I'll be finished done with this car before I take it to inspection and uh, yeah I gotta clean the wheel and the brake uh, this here and there's a little rust but uh, yeah, guys, I'm glad I showed you guys this video. It's kind of uh, inspiring for some of you guys out there, you know, uh, that's trying to trying to drive sport cars. Um, so just hit me up anytime. You know, leave a comment on my page, uh, likes, please like my page, subscribe, and uh, you know, put, leave some comments. Uh, you guys all about um, uh, modifying. Uh, sport cars. Uh, that's all. That's all I'm about. Modifying, uh, auto modifying sport cars. So <laughs> hit me up when you can. Uh, contact me. Uh, leave some comments. Whatever you want to say. You know. Uh, more. Uh, these are my experience. So the more experience, the better. You know. And we can trade. Uh, uh, information back and forth and knowledge you know knowledge uh, back and forth um, so I'm always here it's me young Leo Accio thanks for watching my channel uh, auto modifying sport channel and peace see all you fan later please like comments and subscribe my channel. Thanks. Bye now.